What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is a third person podcast. My name is Chris, and with me as always is my buddy Mike. What's going on, Chris? How you doing? I'm doing just okay. <laughs> uh, guys, we're, we made it through. We've done it. Mid-season finale. We've, we, we, Mike, we did it. We it said, was. It was like a tooth pull. You, you know? know? Um, but, <laughs> but we did it. We're here. They pulled the old double episode for the season finale. They're smart, and they're not going to be running their show during Game of Thrones season. So uh, yeah. it's over. <laughs> it's over for now. It's coming back September 10th. Uh, but between now and then, we have Game of Thrones. So let's get into this. Uh, this is going to be, you know, not going to be a double episode. It's just going to be, we're just going to combine them all. Uh, Mikey, I- I'll tell yes. you this much. I uh, Overall, man, I, I actually kind of liked it. I liked, I liked some, of the, some of the things they did in some of the places they went in this in this finale, this okay. double episode finale. What'd you think? I thought it was good. There was a little it was it was a bit annoying when there was just so many back and forth. Okay, wait, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't get into yeah. Just you overall what, what did mean? you think? Because that's that's um, something that I want to get into. Yeah. Um it it was it was okay. I it mean was, I'm not it was okay, sit there yeah. and say it was fantastic or anything. It had its it had its moments. Yeah, there's some cool things. I think the actor um, who plays Walker, I, we got his regular name. Um, his name is Gray I'm, Eyes. Yeah, something. Well, whatever. I thought he was um, something Gray was, Eyes. I can't remember. A, a, you know, a decent, uh, a decent actor when he was talking with um, Alicia and stuff like that. So, okay, it was okay. Yeah, well, look, we got look again. The acting is fine. The acting is good. Mm-hmm. Is actually pretty good if you think about it. Yeah. But all right, so. We're not going to spend. I have I have a lot more to say about the second episode, uh, yeah. episode eight, as opposed to the first episode, episode seven. Mm-hmm. Um, the first, the the episode seven, uh, the unveiling is when there, you know, we we get to see Jake going to parlay, and yeah. that episode just had them going back and forth, like you just said before, which is why I don't want you to get too close. So that's one of the main problems I had with that is just mm-hmm. that. Just, it was like, all right, let me find out. All right, war- I'll ask him. Let me go back. Let me ask my dad. Let me do that. You know, it's what like I mean? the war. Yeah, they're gonna have a war. Yet they're just constantly going back and forth. And not, but then, but then it gets even. Then it gets. Then it gets even better. Besides yeah. just going back and forth willy nilly, then you have, then you have. Well, first of all, we, we let's not let's not gloss over the fact that Ophelia is with Walker. Yeah. yeah. And that's probably. The, I mean, really, one of the better parts. I mean, we 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 kind of thought we hinted at that last week because remember I told you. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you know, saw in, the, in, in yeah. the coming attraction for for episode seven, they kind of gave that away. But she's back. I mean, we we get her backstory, which was kind of cool. Um, you know, and how Walker, uh, you know, nursed her back to health. You know, and how and how Jeremiah first found her and left. Yeah, her well, there. we find this all out <laughs> in the second episode. First, yeah. we find out that in in episode seven that there was that she's there and mm-hmm. she's with them. And she works in the kitchen. So yeah. she goes back and then they go. And then so they just here's the problem. And we find out why we find out why three seasons yeah. later, why um, I was going to say Kim Dickens. That's her name. But why Madison is the way she is. But mm-hmm. in that, but she goes to take her daughter back like you're in the middle of a war. They're in the middle of a parlay. Yeah. And this bitch goes and fucking takes not only. Takes a girl. Didn't they shoot someone? They shot some people. They, about four people, I think. They um, shot Troy four people. Are you kidding yeah. me? And they didn't. And they didn't attack that day. Like, and then they go back and well, forth they, they and back it, They did and it uh, the slick way with with um with uh, you oh. know Walk, Walker having having uh you know using Ophelia's Ophelia decoy right. So then they come back right. So then Ophelia poisoning and, and I mean inside job. You know. You know. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's kind of pissing me off. So it was kind of strange. When just, Ophelia all of a sudden just arrived, like was there, I'm like, what the fuck did she do? That so I kind of knew something was up with her, um, you know, f- from the yeah. Why did they ever. beat her? Like, like exactly. Yeah. I was like, why would he beat her? Because like, he what? first listened to her, he first listened to her when he was. It seemed as if he was gonna kill Jake. Walker. Right. Yeah. You know, he did the half scout thing. I was like, oh shit, are they gonna show him pull the? Yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I thought they were really gonna do that God, for a minute. I was, I was hoping that man. Obviously, they didn't. Um, so, I it's mean, like, well, dude, it, uh, yeah, man, it's like, it what are you? Odd, every time they went back, I was like, off. what are you doing? So, look, we find out that Madison ended up shooting her own father. Okay, and this is so, she, so, mm-hmm. so to save her mother. So, this is why yeah. she's got this thing. And 
the conversation between her and her two children, mm-hmm. excuse me, that was pretty. That was a pretty cool conversation. She's like, "What? You're a, you're crazy. You're a monster." And she's like, "I had to be." It's like you don't know what I'm carrying around. You don't fucking know. Yeah. And later on, she tells him, and the kids are like, and she's like, "My mom looked at me like that too, and I don't care. I do it a thousand times over." Mm-hmm. So we get it now. Okay, yeah. obviously there was something, but now we we understand. But still, she's a fucking just stop. Just stop. And at one point he yells, you're not, remember Jake yells at her. He's like, you're not the, you, this isn't your family. This isn't your, this isn't your deal. This isn't your people. Yeah. You're not, you don't make the deals or something like that. Right. So, so I mean the whole parlay thing, it, it, it was just weird and going back and forth. I mean, that was a major problem I have. The second episode, it's episode eight, you know, that that was a little bit better because it got a little more contained, even though it really did. It was cool but, to see some walkers. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just they just make it so safe. It's so funny how um, the different the different series, The Walking Dead and this show, um, not really to compare them, but but just to compare the fact of where each show was at the same season. You right. know what I mean? We we just started getting into the governor in Walking Dead season three. But before that, it was really all about walkers. And it really even though it still had uh, the walkers were a big part of of Walking Dead. And now on this show. It's because they were out this, there every day at the prison, yeah, exactly. cleaning the gates. You know, yeah, man. I was, it was, it was just. It was never, it was, yeah. It was a breath of fresh air um, to actually right. have some, uh, to get some some walkers there. But um, the one the one part that I would say um, really about combining both of these episodes was I found it interesting, like you just mentioned about Madison. I thought that was interesting that we finally got some of that backstory of how she doesn't feel the emotion and such uh, as, as Alicia said to her, but we got, um, we got more of the kind of the man uh, of Jeremiah and who he was. We got um, the backstory of the ranch. We, with, with Walker. And I was telling you off camera, uh, there was an interesting part back in, in the, in the first episode in episode seven, when um, Alicia was still uh, with Walker and they were walking through that, like um, the, camp, the, 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 the trailer, yeah. you know, oh, his, oh, his, the, the, the relic, relic trailer where relic he's trailer. like, this is why I'm doing this. This is like, and, yeah. Yeah. He's and trying he, to and preserve he told him. her. Yeah. He, he wanted to preserve and he showed the box of his, of his, um, it was his, his, his grandfather, grandfather. Right. So it was interesting because he asked Alicia, what does the apocalypse mean to you? And she says, it's the end of the world. And he says, no, no this, is a, the... this is a new beginning. It's a new beginning for us because there's no government. There's no law to hold, you know, right, to, yeah. to take away my lands. And and it's a new beginning for them. And that's what they feel, These the Native Americans. So it was interesting to, to get a little bit more in depth of, um, even though we hear that, that Jeremiah legitimately bought the land, that they gave, you know, that they sold um, Jeremiah the land. It was, it was just kind of interesting to get a little bit of that backstory. That's the whole thing. It, but the whole thing is retarded, man. Oh, so <laughs> you, you bought the land, and now mm. you want it back? Like what? I mean, I could use a word right now, a phrase, and you know what phrase that's going to be, right? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, dude, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you so what you you uh, anyway? So that's one thing. Yeah, dude. Here, here, uh, here's another maybe, thing. Maybe maybe he feels like it's such it's such a pivotal plot of land. It's such it's like a protected. Then why sell it? Piece. Why the hell did your family sell it? You well, shitheads? that's before that's before the apocalypse. No, so no, just, no, no. They were fighting over the land before the apocalypse, dude. No, that's what I'm saying. Before the apocalypse, they the were land they sold, sold the land and then they now, wanted it back. Like, what are I you know, doing but now? being in the apocalypse and in the midst of this whole now it's thing, like well we can get it back I think okay, he but, realizes okay but here, here's how the thing. important that 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 area is right but here's the thing here's the thing those bitches were all fucking talk oh i'll kill you all walker's like i'll kill you all I'll, mm-hmm. what's his name Qu- uh, uh ta- what the hell was his name qualitec quiet Qua- what the fuck was his name who are you talking about fucking walker his indian name the fucking name uh, it was he... like co- uh, that's why i asked before i forgot what it was i wrote, I wrote it, it uh, i forgot to write it down i don't, I don't care anyway uh whatever dude you, you're all fucking talk you're a bitch because oh, oh we're gonna kill you we're gonna kill them they're all gonna die they're all gonna die you did nothing you didn't do a damn thing you were threatening all besides this time the, besides the anthrax and you thing. didn't do a damn thing that's that's that was a bitch move dude that was a bitch move, and he knows it. You know it, and I know it, and we all know it. He was a bitch. That guy is a bitch. Smart hold on, hold on. I guess because, they feel like they're no, outnumbered. No, let me finish, because guess what? 
Let's go to the ending. Okay, <laughs> we'll get into the we'll get into the details of how Otto dies. But the yeah. point was, all right, they make this under the table fucking thing where oh, bring me his head. Yeah. And we won't have bloodshed. Great. And we don't find that out until the end, obviously, because well, Ed, right, Madison Mikey. But then first says he doesn't care about the relics trailer. And then right, right, right. But then the okay, so what the fuck? What does that mean? You don't want the land anymore? What the hell was the point so. he, of all of this? He was then just he what was the hell just, was the point of all of this? I, I you're right. Because That's what I'm if saying, it makes no the fucking pot, sense. Then, may, then nothing made these motivations are are ridiculous. And again, this is the problem with this show. They no, just these motivations make no sense. There's no. literally no reason for anybody to do any of the things they're doing. No. Three seasons later, we get a reasons why why um, Madison is a fucking lunatic. Great, okay, whatever. Anyway, I knew Nick was about, I knew Nick was gonna do that. I knew Nick was gonna go in the whole gun. I knew there was gonna be something with the gun. And I don't think I mentioned it on here. I should have, though, because I had it in my notes and I just never mentioned it. But this whole gun thing, the past bunch of episodes, he cleaned up the gun and gave it back to him. He shot in the thing and gave it back to him. It's supposed to be all symbolic and everything. And like then that, and know? then I knew and then you knew Madison wasn't going to go shoot him. I and I was, was like, kind of stupid. Do you really think that Madison um, felt at any point that she would go into that house and and speak with Jeremiah, and he would actually be convinced in killing himself. Yeah, really, seriously. <laughs> and then he says, so, "Fuck those kids." He said, yeah, "Fuck his he's son." Like, he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "I don't uh, give one a- of them's a fucking crybaby," and the that other guy, one's you know, off the old block. You know? you know what was great is that that guy, even though he turned out to be a fucking psycho, mm. a piece of shit, yeah. he, he was still kind of likable. Man, he was played so well. Yeah, he wasn't. You I know, mean, the actor he played him so. Fucking, I don't have his name in front of me. I should, but uh, yeah. you know him, that dude, Kim yeah. Dickens, and they're like two or three more characters are all on Deadwood together. Uh, were they? I never yeah. watched. Deadwood, yeah, there was like a Deadwood know. reunion. They were all. I didn't realize that. I was looking they through IMDb. Do that. I mean, AMC especially tends to pick from they're, here. Pick they're from good. Here, they're good actors. And, but anyway, yeah. yeah, dude, did she really think that? So the the progression, My, uh, <laughs> the progression of watching Jeremiah Otto go from this sort of seemingly peace peace loving man to this fucking drunk piece of shit yeah. that was really good like I, that was one thing that they did real well i think that yeah. it just flowed very nicely and I, you're right i i think it shows i think it showed his progression in the drinking because we didn't really see i mean i guess we don't know for sure if he really was drinking um when madison no, but, first arrived but the way and, they chose to before, but they progressed it they showed him more drinking more and more so that to me just showed me that he knew that it was inevitable that he was going to either die or that war was going to come that he didn't even give a shit either way that he was just like fuck it look like like we just said he didn't give a shit about his kids and who cares if they come and kill this whole kill everybody on the right you know on the property um yeah you know one one point that kind of stuck out at the end uh especially for me was after the fact after nick comes in and, and and shoots Jeremiah, we see. Was a bull um, We yeah. Well, we we see uh, Madison say to Nick, "Listen, just follow my lead." So obviously they set it up to make it look like Jeremiah killed himself. I'm well. She I, didn't expect that to happen. He she immediately no, grabbed the gun, puts no, it down by his hand. Yeah. yeah. No, so I understand that, but I have issues with when, that too. When Troy and Jay come in. And it was kind of like, oh my god, Dad's dead. Kind yeah, of wh- thing. And yeah, like you didn't suspect. Yeah. Any, any bit. You that's know, any one. That's fraction, one of the things I wanted to say to you. Yeah, that you're fu- Madison you're or Nick fine did with it. that. You're and fu- they're, they're the he- first ones there. These yeah. outsiders that started this whole fucking thing to begin with with Alicia uh, going in and 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 killing a bunch of a bunch of the the Native Americans. You know, you didn't think one second. You know, so I'm I'm you know that that they weren't the ones in that that did yeah and then them. and then wait then wait then go to the very next scene <laughs> is they load the they load the body into the back of a pickup and say. drive out right yeah, then so... we cut to <laughs> madison with in a barn with the with the casket was he in the casket that's what i was thinking because i'm I... like there's no way they're gonna let madison cut the head off right i thought i thought that they were putting the body on a truck and set and bringing and it to walker buried. No, I, no, I thought they I were thought gonna, they were going to Walker with it. That's what I thought. That no, they were going to show proof. Remember, 
the kids didn't know the plan. Well, it's right, Madison but I thought maybe she. Plan. Yeah, well, I, right. So I guess they went and put him in a, a casket. In the casket, and, and then, then she shows up and cuts his head. And it's like, yeah, I thought that was a little weird because I would have liked to. I think it would have been more believable if the kids um, buried him. Madison sneaks, unburies him, cuts his head off, kind of a thing. Like maybe you see Madison unburying him right, or something. Right. You know, well, essentially I that was a that's what happened. At it was first before too, they because... buried him, they why well, they leave him in a casket in the barn? Like in what? the barn? I don't know. Maybe they were planning on digging it later. I, I mean, maybe they I don't maybe know. they went and they were digging I don't it. Know. Who knows, they made man. it. They made it just just uh, you know they 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 wrote that just and uh, you know just so Madison has the opportunity to cut his head off. And also and also, what's going to happen now? Who's going to be the main villain? Is it going to be Walker? Is Walker going to f- here here a bunch? Let's 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 start wrapping this up though. Let's yeah. get to some questions. All right, these are my yeah. questions. All right, let me let me, yeah. let me ask you my questions. Sure. One, are the boys going to be satisfied with thinking that it was a suicide? Will they cause trouble now? We'll we'll probably you know will this get resolved in the second half? Two, mm. is Walker? What's he going to do? Like I said, you're done now. You don't. You you don't want the land anymore. Everything's fine because yeah. you got the guy's head. That that's the question. Um, you know, it, it, I, I, these are questions I have. Wait, wait. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier. <laughs> this is this is just an observation, but this is pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. All of everything aside that we just said, yeah. okay. If the Clark's did not come to that ranch, they'd still have this problem with Walker. Oh, of course. I mean, remember, they so, first shot down They shot down uh, the helicopter. Right. So I thought, I was thinking about there. it, and I'm like, that's actually a pretty interesting thing. This actually wasn't, it was accelerated greatly yeah. by Madison and her children. It, it was inevitable. You but know, it, it would have been inevitable. All right. So just yeah. that out of the way, I just wanted mm-hmm. to make that point. Yeah. Um, and dude, what fucking strand. All right. Now, we saw a couple things that was kind of... Obviously, he got away from a horde of zombies. Good for him. Great. Mm-hmm. Good for him. We have this little moment where he talks to a fucking cosmonaut yeah. on a passing satellite or whatever. The a passing. I, I I think what happened was as as the guy was passing over, he caught the radio. He and, got yeah, he caught him. And yeah, whatever. And, that, and that's cool. And that was pretty cool. It was a cool little scene. It was cool because that's the first time we ever we know that um, the wider. We well, we know that there's there's people alive in space. That is the actual the first time in any of the Walking in, Dead shows. Exactly. He um, says the lights went out. He says it's a, it's the whole world yeah. is dead. He says the whole world is doomed. So that I mean, we kind of got that way back in Walking Dead uh, in season one with um, with Jenner. Mm-hmm. How he says the French were the last ones that were working on a cure and all this kind of stuff. So we knew. Um, they, they hinted to us, not necessarily a hint, but they kind of told us that the world is all feeling this. But let me ask you this. What is worse, being being up in space trapped, having no way in hell to come back to Earth, or being on the Earth? What would you rather be? You know what, dude? On the Earth, at least you have a chance to mix, right? do something yeah. figure something out that man's gonna die he's gonna die up there he's gonna, gonna die out. up there and, yeah. and he's done that's it he's gonna he's he, he talking about the champagne and stuff like that he's like oh he what wanted kind of vodka beer? yeah yeah i wish i had vodka some yurgi yeah it's vodka yes you know i mean yeah, that was so. very cool but now let me let it me cool. let me cool. pose this to you mm. we don't need to see strand anymore strand is out of the loop He's out of the situation. He's not He's not a strong character on his own without yeah, other people, without him going from one group to another. He's not strong. Um, Ruben Blades is strong. Salazar, he's a stronger mm-hmm. character than, than um, you know, Strand. So yeah. we don't need to see him anymore. We're done. He has nothing uh, he, to do with the gonna, overall arc anymore. He's going to be there somewhere. They would have killed him off then. No, but yeah. I don't think he I don't think he should be in the rest of the season. Maybe show up at the end and he makes his way to the ranch in the middle of the maybe, <sighs> but he's got nothing. There's nothing left for him. We're done with him. We've yeah, seen you, you know what, dude? I don't you care. Know, I don't care about him anymore. I don't necessarily care about him either. Uh you know? the, the one thing that kind of annoys me is in such a world, uh, a chaotic world now, everybody bumps into each other and it's not like you know, it's not like a big surprise. Oh, they bump into Ophelia. It's not, it's like, oh, okay. Well, you know, you so happen to find this ranch. You so happen to find these native, you know what I mean? He, uh, Strand finds the Abigail, 
You know what I mean? Out of yeah. all these, so so to me, it just coincidence is just like you know for for the situations to happen and these people because you know damn well Salazar is going to find his daughter. So that's another character. Yeah. That is out <laughs> there in this world that is going to stumble upon this place. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you go, if I'm walking towards this ranch, say, mm-hmm. I have so many other, this, the ranch is this one little space ahead of me, but there's so much else out there on either side of this, but they seem to always find, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So that, that to me is a little unbelievable. Um, with your questions before about how we think the kids are going to deal with Jeremiah and all this kind of stuff, mm-hmm. I really think that it, that's going to be a big a big part of next season because I think there's going to be some doubt involved. I think that there's going to be maybe talks with Walker. Maybe Walker lets in on – Oh, God, more the, talks with Walker. Just it's kill be someone some, already. I mean, you said – the second question you said was, is Walker content now with the head? Right, I think yeah. He, I, think he, I think he is. So now – Why, though? Because that's what he wanted. But he, he got. But he, he got water. Madison. He got. He he got. He respected tons Madison. Of water. He got. He got supplies, I, and he still didn't give a but shit. But for right now, I think he's content. All right. So let's just say, for for shits and giggles, next season somehow, uh, the information about the deal about the head um, comes out. Well, that's it's gonna, out it's, yeah. it's gonna that's, come out. That's getting out. It's, yeah. it's gonna come out. So yes, these kids. Uh, the kids and Walker are, are suffice enough with the information that they have. But next season, I'm sure that will spill out. I'm sure we're going to see Salazar. Not even next season. I keep saying next season. Well, um, it's the second half. This was this three, was the mid three B. Yeah. They called so, uh, and I think that was seven season, uh, seven episodes. Didn't you say? Oh, I don't know. It might be. I, think, I thought. I thought. Might be. Well, regard, regardless, yeah. I think it's whatever it is. No, seven, seven episodes seven. is Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. Well, I know that, but I thought, all right, no, it's, regardless, mm-hmm. they're going to find out this information. Uh, I, I could see that, uh, you know, that's going to be the catalyst of a lot of the drama for, for the next half. Yeah. Hell yeah. Definitely. I mean, well, um, anything else, man? I mean, uh, I'm sure you guys uh, will get it, give it to us. Quick. I mean, I got everything in, man. It's just, yeah, not really, that, you know, I'm, I'm just, uh, no, strand in the Abigail. He burns the Abigail. I, just, just like I said, it is, what it is going man. To be, these guys are here. They're going to, um, they're going to, they're going to find each other, and that to me is going to be a little ridiculous. Uh, I, you know, we said this way back. Just to wrap this up, uh, my little closing little um, argument here is: we said this from the beginning because obviously, if anybody, everybody that watches our podcast knows uh, the premiere episodes, me and Chris did not enjoy we were um we were even doubting we were, we were week even by week and then we yeah, just we were gonna invested. get this far yeah. um but you know it's it kills me and the biggest complaint is what is going to set this show apart the cool little glimpses from from the original uh from from the walking dead uh, and you know it, it's just a different cast of characters you know unless they really hit us with some cool um, elements on this show. I don't think, I think it's pointless to continue. I think, I think, hang on. I think the space thing was kind of cool because they gave us little glimpses of, of things that we never necessarily heard. Mm -hmm. We hear the space guys saying, all the world is black. And that, that, that's probably the coolest thing of this whole uh, mid season finale was just that information. Yeah. Because we never got something as conclusive. This guy is in a fucking space station flying around the Earth. So he would know if there's patches of yeah, uh, he would know, right. of electricity, if, if there's anything that's on whatsoever. Um, so that was probably the most interesting part of it. So, yes, for me, um, I'm hoping that – give me something. I, I really don't know how much longer the show can get. I don't want them to be on – uh, you know, just like just like in The Walking Dead, that you just feel safe for a little for a small moment of time on the in the prison on the farm. And, but you and know, so the on. characters are better, Mike. That's the that's the problem. There's there's very few characters here because even Nick got boring. Nick was was great in the second season. I loved his character. He was my favorite character in the second season. Yeah. This season, they're all. It's all just. Madison got a little more interesting. Otto was the coolest character. I liked Otto the most, 
Even Troy, it was a trope we've seen before. All of this we've seen before. Yeah. All of this we know, and it's just mm-hmm. this, like this. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's a flat yeah. line with a little yeah. bit of bumps. Whereas The Walking Dead to us, you and I, yeah. more of a, you know, an actual, you know, you got ups and downs and and troughs and waves yeah. and all this shit. This show, the the <sighs> characters are just again not taking away from the acting. They're doing the best, you know. Mm-hmm. I want to say, I say more than they're doing that. They're they're good. They're good at what they're doing, but. The characters themselves, the directions yeah. they take. No, I, I, you know, dude, what's I, funny is that I people agree. I people agree. think that about the original Walking Dead. I, I mean, mm-hmm. I have friends that are like, I can't watch that show; it's so boring. And I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. You know, but listen, to each their there's, own. There's even been times, uh, you know, it, go back, everybody that's watching, go back and check out some of our live reactions, our discussions about the Walking Dead the past season, and let us know, um, you know, what you think, you know, because oh, some we of those episodes too, we had, we yeah. weren't too kind to that to that either. You know what I mean? Listen, I'm not here to compare the Tara fe- episode. Fear, oh my god, fear and and The Walking Dead. I, I would never compare them because I am so invested, um, in in The Walking Dead. So many people are invested. So many millions of people that watch every week are invested for the last seven, you know, six seasons, seven yeah. seasons. So, you know, it's it's hard to to just quit on a show, um, like like The Walking Dead. I, I was. I remember when when I first heard the the the, the information that they were going to do a spinoff, Game of Thrones. I think they can totally pull it off because George R. R. Martin's world is just so fucking vast and so cool. It's mm-hmm. like, it's like, um, it's like Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Yeah. you know what I mean. It's two separate stories, two separate stories, but but the same world. Yeah, I don't think that the fear can really pull this off. No. You know what I mean? They got three seasons. And We've please got. Ex- please excuse my dog in the back if you guys. He's see agreeing. My dog he's agreeing with you. Yeah, he's like, ah, this fucking show sucks. Uh-huh. But yeah, that's my 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 rant for fear. Really, if you'd call it a rant, it's hard for me to. I agree. It's hard it's for just me not, to do it. It's I just mean. not. Yeah. So look, we're gonna come back. We're gonna see. Um, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, went a little longer than we wanted to, but you know what? I think we said everything we wanted to say, guys. Once again, let us know what you think about this yeah. mid season and about what's going on. I, in the comments, you guys, I think pretty much everyone. I don't think we've had one comment against what how we feel. Everyone's agreeing with us that this show is this and these characters and that and stuff, and that's yeah. really cool. We're all on the same page, and I love it. So, uh, that's gonna do it for Fear of the Walking Dead. Um, until yes. September. Uh, Mikey, where can they reach us if uh, they wanted to? Well, if they want to, I hopefully the they do. Uh, of course, they check. They can check us out on, on Third Person Pod on YouTube. Write your comments and everything below. I hope you enjoy the content that we've been putting out. We've been trying to bang out a lot of stuff, especially with Game of Thrones coming back now. But you can check us out, of course, on, on Third Person Pod on Facebook, on Instagram. We've been putting a lot of cool stuff on Instagram lately. And don't forget, check us out on iTunes. Uh, you know, just listen to us on your way to work. You know, whatever you want to do, check us out on there. Don't forget about that. Yep. Uh, and guys, speaking of Game of Thrones, uh, yes. so this is the last uh, Fear of the Walking Dead. We got Game of Thrones coming up. Uh, yep. It actually starts uh, the re- recording of this. It starts this Sunday from um, from when you see this video. Uh, so it's starting uh, this week, and uh, we've already got a couple of videos up. Uh, some re- we got a reunion video. Who you? What reunions do you want to see in season seven? And we also have yes. a video that is um, also live. Uh, how will John Snow find out about his parentage? Yes, out. check those out. Yeah, go check those out. And uh, you know what? I think we're going to leave it at that, Mikey. Uh, everything else, take a look at the other videos. Guys, thank you so much That's for right. watching. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for sticking around with us while we stuck around with Fear of the Walking Dead. Uh, I know you guys powered through like we do. So um, for Fear of the Walking Dead, we will see you on the next Fear of the Walking Dead. Back, we uh, made it. We, we made, made it for this mid-season. We'll see you guys in September with more Fear of the Walking Dead. So thanks, guys. Peace.